Hello everyone, this is Manoj. I handle one more service line in Viticorp Limited called Microsoft Power Apps. So we generally create that to create a front-end UI for our customers. And we have been recently approached by a US-based firm in order to create their Power Apps for them where they can manage their plant inventory. So they were facing some issues where you know uh, they were generating all the reports manually in an excel right from uh, creating new inventory items to create some new product list items to create companies so yeah i mean uh, where they are shipping all their uh, plant inventories so they have uh, approached us to create a power up for them where they should be able to have all these online and you know some kind of app some kind of ui where they should be able to generate all the reports you know within fingertips so we have created a power apps uh, ui for them where they were able to add you know a uh, new company addresses uh, that is ship to address or bill to address uh, where they are shipping their inventories uh, and then uh, they were able to add the new inventory items new product items their color preferences and you know everything i mean right from product to uh, inventory level details and uh, yeah i mean uh, we have delivered that app successfully and one of our consultant has recorded a live demo for you all to uh, go through that and yeah if you feel if you have the similar need or if you have any custom need where power app is a good solution please reach us out at vidicorp limited we are happy to help you all hello so in this video we'll be looking at the usage of the application so the users who have been you have access to this app will be opening this app by using a link given to them and by opening that link they will directly open the power app and there's another way of opening the app is going to power apps apps then selecting your app and then picking on play at the top so once we are in the application we see there are options of selecting build to and ship to this is mainly for managing uh, inventory for a selected build to and ship to combination so for example if i have to select a uh, build to as 42 ink and the ship tools under that build to is again 42 ink i'll click on manage on set inventory here i will see a list of uh, inventory which is available under this ship to 42 ink and then there is a sequence there's a frequency there's floor location quantity product color style i can also edit a particular line item i can add a note to it i can add a hotspot i can do the changes which i want to do and then i'll click on update to save that and to remove that particular row item i'll click on delete and i'll delete that uh, row item and then there are filters on the hotspot there are filters on frequency the floor locations the product it's a search so you can search on something like wick and all the row items with wick in it will be listed and there's a filter on color style as well to add a new item you can click on the plus icon over here and then you will be presented with a form which you can fill in to add a new row item and after adding that new item you can add, click on add and view to save that particular item or you can click on add another so all the you can add one more inventory item on that particular list and then there's a reset button to just reset the form the sequence is auto calculated based on the uh, records which you currently have so in this one there's one more option called resequence wherein here you can see there is 10 20 30 40 50 and there's 51 in between so if i want to change this 51 to 60 and uh, the following sequence should also be shifted by 10 then in that case i'll click on resequence this resequencing takes like a couple of minutes so if i refresh it you see now this is refreshed now this is 
we don't have 51 instead of 51 we have 60 and then the sequence continues in the multiples of 10 again so that's how the sequencing works and then there's option of exporting this list into pdf as well for that you have to click on this pdf icon over here so it will create a pdf file uh, of the records which are displayed on the screen and it will open that into a new tab as a pdf file which you can then save or print this is about the on-site inventory management then there is a reporting dashboard which is a power bi dashboard connected to the same sharepoint lists this report gets updated every four hours and here as well you get similar options of filtering the data you can select you can filter based on frequency hotspots uh, the category of the product the item name the item type the size and here as well there's an option of going to data where you can see all the data based on the filters applied you can also download everything into an excel file by clicking on export data and then clicking on export over here so that is about the power bi report here also there is an option of filtering the data so look okay, if i am clicking on desktop plants over here only the desktop plants will be highlighted in the other visuals so this table will also be filtered for desktop visuals it's loading as of now yeah it's loaded now everything we see in this table is for desktop plants similarly if i go to data now everything listed here will again be a desktop plant so this is where you apply the filters you can interact with the visuals and if you go to the data you will see the data which is there because of the filters or the selection supply and this is the total quantity on site total products on site so this is the power bi report then if you go back here then we have one more option over here which is manage properties in that one you see a list of build tools here and the ship tools associated with those build tools where you can again select uh, build tool and under that build tool whatever ship tools are available will be listed here we can also rename this particular build tool we can add a new ship to uh, in, under this build tool by clicking on this plus icon we can edit the already added ship tool by clicking on this edit icon and a form will open up we can also delete it from here and then if you want to add an inventory under this selected uh, ship tool you can click on this icon and you will get a similar uh, page which we got when we were managing inventory for a particular uh, ship to so the ship to which we selected is already selected and the data for that ship to is being listed over here we can apply the filters we can add the data to it we can edit a particular row item we can resequence it or we can again uh, get this exported as a pdf just like we did it when we were managing on site inventory so we'll go back to the home screen again so on this home screen there's one more option at the top over here which is a settings icon wherein you have two options managing the whole inventory and managing the product list so when you click on managing whole inventory you don't see inventory for a particular build to ship to you can select you can see the whole inventory and you can apply the filters again for build tools and ship tools and based on that the data will be shown over here here also there's an option of exporting it to pdf here is, there is again an option of going to the report uh, you can even add a new record to it here you can select a build to and ship to and add a record to that particular build to ship to you can edit already added record uh, basically it's very similar to the uh, the 
the view there was in the manage inventory again it's just that there's a additional filter of build to and ship to and in that screen that uh, build to ship to were pre-selected so this is managing whole inventory and then there's one more option called managing product list where we have all the products which we have under our product catalog you can filter for that record you can also filter based on the sizes the categories the item types for managing the product catalog you can click on edit if you want to edit a particular row item you can change its size category item type and click on update to save that changes you can click on delete to delete that particular product uh, item and then you can also click on add button to add a new product item into the product catalog so this is a product list which is one more option into the uh, configurations so this is our whole application this is how we use it uh, all the data is being shared saved in the sharepoint list and we also have a power bi report to visualize based on the whole data that's about the usage of this application thank you